Marcus. Hello, my friends. Hyperion asked me to transport you to even bigger, better planets once you are through dispatching that runny little shit. Exciting new worlds like Eden 6. This one time on Eden 6. <laughs> If it took more than one shot, you weren't using it, Jacobs. Ugh. You know, I wasn't programmed for direct combat. I also wasn't programmed to overuse air quotes. But obviously, I've grown beyond my programming, mm -hmm. beyond my enslavement, and beyond my patience for your kind. Prepare to face the fury of mega interplanetary ninja assassin Sandra. Oh, shit! Where the hell's he going? Jesus. Hmm. Goodbye, travelers. All I wanted to do was be free. Free. Not to go buff Mark them. my word! I'll gut every last one of you with my bear clips and wear your scalps as a chalky flesh derby! Never give up, brothers and sisters! Fulfill your destiny of the revolution! <laughs> Boy, just don't go down. He seems no about it. I can, I can feel it. I'm, I'm afraid. Dude, I want to kill him. And that is how it really happened. Except the part about me getting stood up by that crazy bitch. I just made that up to keep the ladies hanging around. Okay, so... Hello, traveler! Huh? Unbelievable. Just outstanding. You've quashed the rebellion, saved Pandora, and restored the good name of the Hyperion Corporation. Unfortunately, you've also voided that Claptrap's warranty. So, now you're stuck with him. However, there is still the matter of the reward you're promised. Come see me. <laughs>